And it is great to welcome back to the Harvey Norman Lounge best-selling author and naturopath Lani Lopez. Lani, good morning. Hello. So we're talking diets today, uh, getting rid of the back, the back fat and the belly bulge and all that sort of thing. Well, I just think once you hit a certain age, um, it tends to accumulate around this area. Yes. And it can um, <laughs> increase the risk of heart disease. So that's what I really wanted to target. Okay. So um, fad diets. So you've been doing some serious research into this. Yeah. Let's talk about a few of the ones that I've been hearing a lot about recently. Uh, Shall we start with the keto diet? Right, so the keto diet is 70% healthy um, fat. Right. So that's like avocado, butter, cream, that kind 70%. of thing. 70%? Yeah, it's quite high. Okay. 20% um, protein and 10% carbs, so really, really low. Um, you tend to burn fat and you do get bad breath. Okay. So it's kind of uh, like a hardcore way of doing the Atkins diet from the 1970s. What about the 5-2 diet? 5-2 is when you fast for two days and then you eat um, healthy food for five days. So again, it's kind of um, lowering the calories and there's some really good studies around it. It's just I wonder how long you can keep it up, that's all. Yeah, yeah. and the paleo diet? Paleo is... Um, Very on trend right now, isn't it? <laughs> well, um, it's, it's supposed to be whatever... I don't want to say cavemen because that would be incorrect, but um, they say it's cavemen that um, had meat predominantly, fruit and vegetables, nuts and seeds, and they didn't have any dairy or legumes or processed food, alcohol, sugar, so you stay away from those types of food. Okay. And that's more of a lifestyle. Yes, diet. it is. People, people tell you about it. They're paleo, they'll let you know, that's for sure. <laughs> um, what about HCG? Well, to, talking about people letting you know, um, vegetarian and vegan, um, it's probably still um, number one in terms of eating. But, um, you know, some people don't want to not eat animals. So, yeah, yes. True. So, um, what are we talking about? Like, HCG. HCG. Okay, so that is a pregnancy hormone. Um, so, when you get pregnant, men do have it too, even though they don't get pregnant, mm -hmm. but um, it increases. And people take a shot through the stomach of HCG hormone or you can take homeopathic drops okay. and it's supposed to, and you do a low carb diet. Right, okay, so what's low carb? Um, low carb is anything around about under 600 or 500 calories. So you're counting calories, for instance, it might be two boiled eggs and an apple for breakfast, uh, chicken and salad for lunch and dinner. That doesn't sound like very much. So of all of these right. diets, what actually works? What's sustainable? Okay. Uh, well, is any of them sustainable? <laughs> Not for me, I don't think. That's right, you know, um, there's fad diets. So if we're looking at paleo, I know that um, Kiwis, we're you know, big drinkers mm. of coffee and alcohol. So it's gonna be quite difficult for people to sustain. But if you get into paleo, I think that's probably one of the good ones. We do know that studies show that when you have a lot more fat in your diet, you excrete more fat. I'm not gonna tell you how, mm. but um, you do have- Sounds gross. Yeah, it is. <laughs> less um, waist circumference, measurement okay. and that's, that's always a good thing and there was a randomized control study of the paleo and it showed that um, 70 women did it and they lost over a period of six months 6.5 K oh. more than the control group and they also their cholesterol or triglycerides dropped yeah. down so that's good so what would you recommend then oh okay um, it depends on your style mm -hmm. what you want to do um, I probably, and I'm going to get shot for this, wouldn't recommend the HCG diet mm -hmm. because that increases fat around the middle in the first trimester. So <laughs> you're kind of, you know, not, not doing something good. No. But the low carb part of it is good. And I do like the fact that it suppresses the appetite. Right. So if you've got a really massive appetite, you might want to think about doing that one. Keto, I don't think it's sustainable for mm -hmm. long enough, although some people do have to do that. And um, so my choice of all these mm -hmm. fad diets would be paleo, but look, just eat well, exercise the usual. Right, um, and your Res Energy is back in stock now. Are you well, sold out for a bit? Um, well, Res Energy is good for weight management, mm -hmm. but my Pez Res Boost had been sold out for two months. It just went absolutely crazy, probably due to you. <laughs> and um, I've got some in now, so everyone can be relaxed and Excellent. happy Excellent, good it's to back. know. Hey, thank you so much, Lani. Thank you. And to find out more about how Lani can help you and to purchase any of her supplements, go to her website at lanilopez.com.